to my channel, so we're in my pantry again. And the reason that we're in here is because it's the 10th of the month, and I usually go grocery shopping on the 10th of the month, but because I have so much food stocked up and in my freezer, um, I'm going to challenge myself to do a pantry freezer purge, I guess. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to not grocery shop for anything this month. So I'm going to save my whole $350 budget and try not to spend a dime. Um, so me and you are going to go through our, my pantry and my freezer and my fridge to kind of see what we have. And once a week this uh, month, I will post a video updating on what we planned or what my meal plan was to have this week. If we follow through with that, if I did cheat a little bit and go grocery shopping, I'm hoping I'm not going to have to. Um... But yeah, so we'll see what we do. We I usually do this in December because that's what we spend on um, Christmas. So whatever we don't spend on groceries, we'll spend on Christmas, and that kind of helps us budget that way. But I have so much stocked up that I kind of just need to do a good pantry purge again. and then those are the rice cake um, things I usually do for after school snacks. So I'm not really worried about the snack part. Snacks is what's going to be easy for us. Um, then we have, still have a bunch of soups up here. I think we'll be okay with that. Um, more soups. There's some spaghettios and ravioli, so I think we'll be okay there. Tomatoes. Ooh, tomatoes might be like an iffy one. We use a lot of tomatoes. And green beans and carrots. We don't have a lot of canned vegetables, but we still have some in the freezer, I believe, off the check. We still have some of these, so that'll be good. Some cream ofs, um, a lot of dentine more, so I think we'll be okay with like shepherd's pie and stuff since the kids love that. We get down here. So the other day, I was making Jensen some ramen noodles, and I got this six pack of these, and I guess I didn't read it when I took it off the shelf because I don't ever get these, so I don't even know how to make these, so we'll see about those. I got some pudding back there, so we get okay with the desserts. Two of these, I think we're we'll alright with that. I just bought this last month, so I think we good on noodles. There's lasagna noodles, mac and cheese. I didn't see a lot of mac and cheese up there, um, so we might be not having a lot of mac and cheese for lunch, which is not going to make my kids happy, but they'll get over it. Um, we got plenty of the plenty of noodles, lots of Alfredo. be okay with that for we got a lot of apple sauces so I think we'll be okay with that for like after school we only have two cans of refried beans left one can of pizza sauce we got plenty of mayonnaise um, this is the Kool-Aid mix so the kids will be playing with that one jar of peanut butter and I think I have one in the kitchen though um, some steak sauces that's a hot sauce and a syrup so I think we'll be okay with that we might run out of ranch but that's fine Apple juice is okay. We got plenty of beef or chicken stock. I think this is grain crackers, and there's one back there as well. Cake mix. Two boxes left. I think there's a s'mores and the cherry left in there unopened, so that's good. This is a completely unopened box of granola bars, so the kids will still be good for the snack they take to school. And then all these are Cheerios, or not Cheerios, all these are cereals. So we'll be okay in the snack department. Snack. So this is where I'm getting a little, I might be a little worried because I'm not sure what we have in the freezer. And meat, we're huge meat eaters in my family. So we have a meat almost every meal. So this is where it's going to get a little difficult for us, but I'm confident I can make it work and I'm confident that I can stretch things out so hopefully I can and if you're hearing a lot of wind in the background we're having this killer windstorm going on right now in my freezers in my garage so I apologize for that and yes we are Cleveland Browns fans see looks like we got two two things of chicken I put everything in individual baggies because it's just easier. That's all pork chops. I got a lot of pork chops. So I think we'll be okay with pork chops. Um, a couple pounds of ground beef. So 
so I think we'll be okay there. Lots of cheese, white and yellow, so I think that's that'll maybe last. <laughs> What's in here? This is more chicken, waffles. Ooh, I didn't even think about breakfast food. Uh oh. Um, what is this? More ground beef, Texas toast. There's some pizzas. I think I see a pack of bacon. There's more cheese there. This is my vegetable. So we have a vegetable melon Uh-oh. A whole chicken. What is this? There's a whole brand new pack of broccoli. Um, some freezer meals, it looks like, down there. What else? Oh, I see liver. Um, looks like some more chicken. So we did the pantry, we did the freezer, and now into the indoor fridge and indoor freezer. I don't keep a lot in here, just mainly like milk, drinks, leftovers, and a lot of breakfast stuff in the upper freezer. But other than that, there's not, I don't think there's a whole lot in there. But I said I was worried about her meat, and looking at the freezer, I think we'll be okay. I'm actually getting more confident in my ability to do this as I'm going through what we have. I think we'll be good. We might not have our favorites. We might not have what we usually have every month, but we'll make it. So I opened our fridge and freezer and I sh feel like I should put a disclaimer in there. I haven't cleaned it this week. Um, I've been on my spring cleaning kick and I've been really focusing on other areas of my house. So my fridge and freezer just have been lackluster. So you're getting a real life today. Have one, two, ooh, two, two packs of tortillas, some hot dogs back there. <laughs> Probably been in there since last summer, I'm not gonna lie. This is shredded zucchini. I made my own yogurt and froze like 90% of it. Some cuties were on sale and they were gonna go bad, so I did that, and those are really good in smoothies. Looks like what's back here? Some cookie dough. What is this? Raviolis. Sausage patties, I think that one's unopened. Oh, it's open, so I don't know how many's in there. This is not cookie dough, sorry. This is potato skins, they're really good as a snack. Um, cookie dough, I think this is more cookie dough, yep. Peanut butter jelly sandwiches. This is just hash brown, more peanut butter and jelly. Looks like a couple bags of French toast sticks, a frozen small pizza. Oh, I don't know what this is. This is why you label things. Rice, this is rice. And it looks like some tilapia. That is some leftover broccoli and cheddar soup. A, one leftover stuffed pepper. I could probably make a soup out of that. Maybe. This is cottage cheese I froze because I got a big batch. Homemade noodles, homemade dough. What is this? Green beans. A loaf of zucchini bread. Waffles, a chocolate bar, ice cubes, and here we have like all the various from restaurant sauces, I guess. All of our sauces, more sauces down there, some more sauces. All right, and here we have biscuits. Oh, two, there's two there. Thing of cream cheese, rice, leftover stroganoff, another salsa, the yogurt. Looks like some mac and cheese, pepperoni, pie crust, little crab snacks and a tomato, some drinks, there's some alcoholic beverages, some pickles, milk, just realized I'm completely out of eggs, that might be a problem, and then the kid snack drawer is still pretty stock full of yogurt and so not worry about that. There you have it. Um, thinking about it, I think we're going to be okay with lunches and snacks and maybe dinners I think breakfast might be our biggest thing but I do realize I did realize that I didn't show you guys um, the big tubware thing in there is full of oatmeal um, we just live in the country so sometimes we get we just have mice we live in the country so that's why I have everything almost in tubware because I just don't want anything like that to happen but I'm trying to think of ideas because I'm so used to just going to the store, getting what I needed 
for those meals and bring them home and I know I have everything so it's gonna really push my inventive powers I guess um, and if you have any recipes that you think I could use with some of the stuff that I have that'd be wonderful I would really appreciate it it's really gonna help me along this month so other than that I hope you like this video if you want to see my journey of this month of pantry purge please hit the subscribe button this like button comment down what you think and I'll see you guys next time bye